All right, so now we want to take a look at the second type of probability distribution known as the probability density function or PDF. So what is a probability density function? A probability distribution for a continuous random variable X is called a probability density function if it satisfies the following. One, the probability for each outcome of the random variable should be non-negative. And also, secondly, the if um, you are to integrate the probability function for each outcome of the random variable it should be equal to one. And also the probability that the random variable lies between two intervals of real numbers can be expressed as the integral of the um, probability function from the lower limit to the upper limit of the real numbers, okay? All right, so now let's take a look at an example. The proportion of people who respond to a certain mail order solicitation is a continuous random variable y with probability density function as defined below. We want to verify that f is a PDF. We also want to find probability that y is greater than one. All right, so now let's take a look at the solution. So we want to test for the first condition. We want to find out if the probability for each outcome of the random variable is non-negative, okay? So now let's test when y is equal to 0 0.01, this is continuous. f of 0 0.01 is going to be in this form, okay? And once you compute, you obtain this, which is non-negative. When y is 2.45, another continuous value, you also obtain this, which is also non-negative, okay? So we can conclude that for any value of y, which lies between the interval of zero and three, the function, okay, the probability function is always going to be non-negative. You can test for other values that lies within the interval of zero and three, and you realize that this will be non-negative, okay? So the second condition, we want to find out if the integral of our function will be equal to one, okay? So let's take a look. So we're going to integrate from the lower limit to the upper limit from zero to three, right? And this is our function. So once you integrate, you obtain this. Once you input the values, you obtain this, okay? Once you compute, you obtain one. So this will be equal to one, okay? So since conditions one and two are valid, it follows that our function f of y is a PDF, okay? All right. So now let's take a look at the B part. We want to find it, the probability that y is greater than one. So we are going to integrate from one to three, okay? And once you integrate, you obtain this value. And once you input the values, you obtain this. Once you compute, you're going to obtain this, okay? So this is very quite simple. Now let's take a look at the next example. A random variable X has a PDF given below, right? F of X is in this form. So between the interval of zero and one, we are going to obtain this. Any value outside this is zero, okay? We want to find the value of the constant C and also want to find probability that X is less than one, one out of four, okay? So how do we obtain a value of the constant C? We can use the second condition and that PDF to obtain this. So let's take a look at the solution. So test for condition two, we know that if you have to take the integral, okay, from the lower limit up to the upper limit of our density function, we are supposed to obtain one, right? So let's take a look at that from zero to one, these are function with respect to x, we obtain, it should be equal to one. So once we take the integral, we obtain this. And once you put the values, you obtain this. So um, we can make C a subject. And once you make C a subject, you're going to obtain three out of two or 1.5, okay? So we can actually replace the value of C with three out of two or 1.5, okay? Then you can compute for the second part, probably that X is less than one out of four. So let's take a look at the second part. So the probability that X is less than one out of four can be expressed in this form, right? So when we have now replaced our C with three out of three, once you take the integral, you can obtain this. And once you input the values, you, you are going to obtain this. So you're going to obtain this, okay? I've got this, we'll cancel this. This was a cancel, so you will let with this. And you can also express this in this form, okay? which you're going to obtain this. And finally, you're going to obtain one out of eight, okay? Very quite simple to do, okay? All right, so now this is going to be a trial question. 
I'm going to leave the solution in the description of this video so you can check it out. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And thank you for watching.